Hello and welcome to Sukhothai. This ancient city in Thailand is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is a cultural and historical escape if you're in the north of the country. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to explore the ancient city by bike by taking you on a ride with us. As always, we're backpacking, we're on a budget, but we're trying to do as much as possible. Join the journey by hitting subscribe and let's cycle our way around Sukhothai. Hello. We are here in Mocha bus terminal in Bangkok and we are about to board our bus here to Sukhothai. Tash is waiting to board, I'm waiting to board. We paid 376 baht each for a ticket. It's gonna take about six or seven hours. So let's get our stuff on board now. We'll see you in Sukhothai. If you're coming from Bangkok like us, the easiest way to get to Sukhothai is to simply book a bus from Mochit bus station, which will take you on an eight hour bus ride to the city. We decided to stay in the new city of Sukhothai, which is about 12 kilometers away from the old city. You can choose to stay closer to the old city, of course, but we chose this location as it was right next to the bus terminal. On the first night, we visited the night market. Tash bought a scarf, and we also had some pretty average food. You join us the next morning as we start our day by renting out some bikes. Get our little bikes for the day, 60 baht each, and explore Sukha Thailand. All right, so from where we're staying at the bus terminal is a 12 kilometer cycle to the historical center, which we've started already. We've been going about five minutes. Probably takes about an hour to get there, maybe a little bit less. Don't mind it, the weather's pretty good right now. It's like mid twenties, overcast, not, not too hot. And there's a lovely breeze. No, it's great. I haven't even started sweating yet. That's a lie. I have. <laughs> Before we explore, we're going to go get some food so that we don't interrupt our day later on. Traff Thang Thong Market is where we're looking. Hopefully there's something good to eat. If not, 7-Eleven's toasty there. And I'm sure there's a noodle place around. Yeah. Alright, let's have a gander. Hundred baht per person entry and then ten baht for a bicycle. Two people and two bicycles. So two hundred and twenty for us. Hundred and twenty. Okay. Cool. And as we're entering a temple area, I'm gonna cover up our legs and things. And things. Parts. <laughs> and body parts. I'm gonna chuck on some trousers too. So we'll just do that now. Oh hello. Oh my god, the cat's All right, here we are. The entrance. On initial Wow. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Why is it dead quiet? This is awesome. <laughs> but it's really, really beautiful. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Ah. Wow. And it's not beheaded. Yay. Yeah. We went to Ayutthaya two days ago and all of the Buddha statues there had been beheaded by the Burmese who came in the 18th century and raided the city. Here, it looks like the Buddhas have survived, which is nice to see. No decapitation. All right, got to get off our bikes here and walk in. So Sukhothai actually translates to the dawn of happiness, which is pretty cool. And it was the first capital of the kingdom of Siam in the 13th and 14th century. So all of these ruins here are at least 700 years old, which is amazing to see how good condition they still are in. Plenty of beautiful statues, temples. That one there is a very famous one. So this first complex. I think this first one is called Wat Mahatat. And there's also oh, no. a museum, like just over there. Ooh, cheeky museum. And a cloth cafe that's called Say Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think that was part of the historic city? <laughs> I Maybe. think that was here in the 13th century. <laughs> Dropped our bikes off, and the next one is Wat Sri Savaya. Oh, this will be a scenic shot. Ready? Look at these queens. <laughs> and you, of course, Tash. <laughs> no, wow. they're the queens. Yeah, they, they have a lot more charisma than you, you'll ever have. Oh, there's a squirrel. It's like red as well. 
point is so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Love, love, love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> the Sukhothai Historical Park contains 193 ruins on 70 square kilometers of land. You can walk around it or get a guide to drive you, but riding a bike is better in my opinion. We had a great time biking along the water until we reached a temple with a name that caught our attention. Next stop is Wat Sassi. Sassi? Right, let's have a look. Again, it looks gorgeous. Here's the Sassi temple up close. You're a Sassi bee. Yes, it's a bee. But seriously, it's very nice. <laughs> Now that is a sassy statue. All right, parked up at Watsi Chum. Need to get a ticket though before we enter the sea. So we are now in the north section. Uh, we were here previously. You need to buy a separate ticket for each one. Just so you know, 100 baht for each. 100 baht, 100 baht, 100 baht. Got it, thank you. <laughs> yeah, good to know, thank you. There's a puppy sleeping here. There's a puppy. Oh. Hey love. Cute. Okay, cup and right. cup. Cup and cup. Watsi Chum contains a 15 meter tall Buddha statue, which is one of the coolest that I've ever seen. Weathering and erosion have previously destroyed much of this Buddha image, but with restoration efforts, it looks how it does today. As good as new. We then cycled onwards to our last temple stop of the day. Okay, next stop is Wat Frappai Luang. We haven't butchered any of these pronunciations, I promise. Oh, look at this. Just park the bikes up. Same ticket as the one before. Look at this museum name. Fifty Fifi Tafanta Satan Hyang Chat Ram Kam Nai. Nay. Very good. Please help Thai people. I don't know how to say it. None of us know. We spent a little bit of time at this temple we can't pronounce. Seriously, Thai people, help us. These ruins were less intact than others that we had seen, but they were still grand to look at. This was our final stop, and once we had finished, we embarked on a 12 km journey back to where we were staying. Instead of taking the main road this time, we took some back paths which were gorgeous to cycle on. In the evening, we went to a local restaurant called Poo Restaurant. Yes, you heard that right, Poo Restaurant. Despite the name, the food actually didn't taste like crap, and if I had to recommend somewhere to eat in the city, it would probably be here. And that brings us to the end of our day cycling around the ancient city of Sukhothai. Although this day felt similar to the one that we had in the ancient city of Ayutthaya a few days earlier, the places and sites are different enough to warrant making the trip to see the both of them. This area is a world heritage site of course and you really can feel it dripping with rich history and culture as you make your way around. Overall we had a great time and if you're also on a budget like us, cycling is the best way to navigate it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.